you know, basically there are 14 million Americans who are eligible for lung cancer screening. And as Dr. Need was saying, we don't do very well with this. So really only about 15 to 20 percent of people who should be screened have been screened. If you compare that with colon cancer as a nation, we're at 60 percent and breast and cervical cancer is more like 70 to 80 percent. So we have a long way to go to try and improve our screening for lung cancer. So a couple of things I noticed, though, that really kind of stood out to me. Despite smoking less, there is evidence that black adults who smoke are at higher risk for lung cancer than white adults. Like, what accounts for that? Well, we don't know exactly what accounts for that. Some of that has to do with the exposures to cigarettes. Um, as uh, Dr. Papa was talking about, it can be uh, related to the environment, family history, lung disease, other factors that can affect things. Um, we regularly see inequities um, in the rates at which people get um, different conditions and then the outcomes they have. And, and commonly it is more often that black people have worse outcomes. So that inequity is something that we look very closely at. But one of the good things is that by lowering the age in the pack years, we actually increase the number of black men and Hispanic individuals who would be eligible for screening by 107 and 112 percent. Um, so that goes a little ways towards addressing that inequity. We also called for more evidence and we called for action to try and address this because I think there's a number of factors we need to be thinking about um, to try and improve outcomes uh, for black people and Hispanic people and women um, who all get lung cancer at lower pack years and a younger age.